Hello there guys, what is up? Um, back here doing, uh, in this we're going to talk about ad copy. So, we've went through most of the basic stuff on ads, how to create them, what type of ads to create. Um, but if you're not writing the right stuff in the ad, people won't convert. So, I'm no master copywriter. Um, pretty much had no copywriting experience up until about seven or eight months ago. When I started doing a bit of Facebook advertising, um, but now we're here, and with my ads, I, I like to keep it nice and simple, straight to the point. But there's a few pointers that I find really helps my ads convert, and I see a lot of of new beginners making these mistakes. Uh, it's just sort of spacing out your ads correctly and adding in the right um, call to action, and just getting people to click on your actual ad. So, and come through to your website. So usually I start off with a line, and I'll start with that, and then I'll have a second line, which is usually my scarcity line, and then I'll have the link. So let's start off, this is a wee free plus shipping order offer um, that I'm offering here, uh, trying to start driving some leads to our email list. So I'm gonna write something like, never, so, Basically what we're trying to do here is emphasize the pain point of our customer. So people have the problem of they're uh, out and about and they can't find a charger. Now they can wear a charger on the wrist. So basically this is a, looks kind of like a sports fitness band. Um, looks quite nice. They can wear it on their wrist and they'll always have a charger with them no matter what. So that's what we're gonna emphasize to the customer. So, Never be with a charge again. Get our free, so this is a free plus shipping offer, our free bracelet charger today. And then I always put just pay shipping. So let your customers know they're gonna have to pay the shipping um, when you're doing this. And just be upfront with them. You don't want them coming to your site and then getting hit with hit with the ship and without never being told that we want to uh, lure them in and, and let them at least know they're going to be paying some form of shipping price. So never be without charge again. Get a free base of charger today. Just pay shipping. Limited to the first ninety nine customers. Don't mess out. So there you have it. That's basically the simple copy I put in. Uh, my best converting campaigns are using similar stuff to this. And then I'll put a big order here and a big order here. And I'll put my link in. Uh, again, we're back in Gear Grabber here. Just going to grab the link off our bracelets. Um, a lot of people like to use Bitly links. Mm, it's not for me. Uh, especially when we're we're trying to brand our product so uh, as you can see here if I pull this down you can actually see how long this link is so we don't want that it's way too long it's gonna look really stupid in our post and that's why people use bitly so what I'm gonna do is show you how to go in and change this link in your product settings so come into your product page Scroll down to the very bottom and we have our search engine listing preview. So to change this uh, link, we want to edit the website SEO. Go down here to URL and handle, and you can actually just edit this here to anything you want. So just double click and delete. I'm just gonna go for bracelet charger. Keep it simple, uh, put a wee dash in there. Keep it short and sweet. Um, we have our brand name in there, so we're getting our brand name in as well. Uh, for that, just getting our brand in front of people. Um, and we're just gonna paste that into, so if we refresh now, that should change our link up here. So you can see that if I drag it down. Uh, it's now changed to just bristle charger. Short and sweet, looks good. And now we can put this into our ad. So let's jump back into the ad manager. Um, 
this is the the page post creator that I showed you guys in the previous video. If you haven't watched that yet, go there and check that out. But what we do is just paste it into our order here section and paste it in again. Um, you don't need to use two. Uh, I test both sometimes. Sometimes two works better than one, but a lot of the customers just don't really know where to order, and this just helps them out a lot to get to that stage where they're actually clicking through to the website. So that's one of the one of the sort of odd copies I would use. So let me copy and paste this into a Google Doc here, and I'll show you a couple of other sort of lines that I use regularly. So you can take a screenshot of these and use them. So something similar, never very too far from from this, but I sometimes I use available today only. Always keep this the same like this. I've never really changed it. Uh, adding in emojis, good idea. Um, really livens up the post a little bit. Um, definitely recommend doing that. Um, so I've missed the R on that. Let me go back in here, make sure that's on it. Double check guys your post for spelling mistakes. Uh, you don't want to be putting an ad out that has mistakes in it. Um, as it just makes your brand look really unprofessional. So I'm going to go ahead and create that post and let it get up. And we can go in here and start playing around with this. So available today only. Again, get yours now. Something like that. Uh, it's usually that line I change, the top line. A lot of the time I'll do something like, let's copy and paste that in. So for targeting this at iPhone people, I would go iPhone lovers are going crazy over these free bracelet chargers. Never run out of charge again. Just pay shipping. So you always want to be emphasizing that pain point guys that, that the customer has. So this is the biggest problem we have for our customers is they're not able to charge their phone at any time now because they don't want to carry around a big long charger. So what we've done is got these chargers that they can put on their wrist. Really simple. Let your customer know what it, your product does. I mean, you can have your picture there, it looks great, but sometimes people just need to be told straight up exactly what your product does. Um, it's as simple as that goes. You don't want to be missing out on customers because they just think, oh, I don't know exactly what that does. So tell them. Um, never be without a charge again. Got a free blessed charger today. Uh, you always want to put in your just pay shipping there. Um, it's really important. Don't leave it out. Limited the first 99 customers. So what else do I use? Uh, available today. Only get yours now. Um, so seal. Seal ends in. This is for this middle section. So I'll put it in the end. Seal ends. In three days, we are low on stock. Grab it now. Something like that. Um, so this is for free plus shipping ads. And we also you guys are going to want to know how to write ads for uh, retail items. So I'm going to do that as well here. Let's just set it up. So retail items. On. Take off the bold. Uh, so retail items, pretty much the same. Similar setup. We, I like my four line setup. Uh, keep it the same. But what I do here is... Usually my items are going to be either 25% off, 50% off, 30% uh, off, but whatever it is, I always get it in there. So we'll always start with get our XXX 
with 50% off. And then put in something like today only. Or you can put in with 50% off today, 50% 50, 50 off for our launch event, etc. etc. Just be creative. Come up with a different couple of things you use in your different products and just roll with it, test new lines and see what's working. So get our XXX with 50% off today only. And the way we set our store up in the first section of the course, guys, I told you to put free shipping on every item. Uh, why I do this is because it's killer for marketing retail products. If you can put that in there, it makes it so much easier to sell and get clicks to your website. So what I do is free shipping worldwide. And people eat that up, love free shipping. Obviously the free products really bring people in through the door, but free shipping is also something that people really love. So get it in there and make sure and don't leave that out. Then you can maybe write a little bit about your product. So uh, for our bracelet, we would do never run out of charge again. So I guess, and then I always like to get my scarce in there. So limited to the first 99 customers, don't miss out. Again, I would just leave that in there. Um, keep it in your ad and keep your ad simple. Maybe for these ones, only go with one line if we're using four lines. Uh, and I'll knock up another retail one here for you guys to show you just as well. Two. So, come on. Just a couple of different variants. Uh, I've been test just testing lots of different ones. Uh, these seem to work best for me. So, Go ahead and test these, tweak them a little bit, change a bit of wording here and there. Um, if you're targeting specific niches, make sure you get niches in. If it's something to do with animals, like uh, let's say you're targeting um, pandas, make sure you're, you're saying like, see it, help save the pandas. Uh, maybe you want to donate some of your profits to, to a foundation to do with pandas, really draw on customers, and you could put that in your ad. So we didn't donate 5% of all our profits to the Panda Foundation. Get that in your ad and it, it kills. So another thing we do is sick of running out of battery. We have it solved. Grab our bracelet chargers at 50% off today. Delete that. Let's limit our first 99 customers. Don't miss out. We will never be this price again. And then have your order there and go ahead. So if you guys want to screenshot these and just keep them as in your documents as a save, uh, it'll probably really help you out in the future when it comes to, to doing this. So I'm going to save this up here and I'll maybe actually upload it to the course. Um, but for now, you can just pause the video and save it. Uh, I'll hover over both these. And guys, just mix it up. Keep it simple. I wouldn't go for, I never go for the big long text, not with, not with this sort of impulse buy. Maybe if it's a higher ticket item, start using more text and explaining exactly more into what the product does. Uh, but again, higher ticket items, I would like to be using videos to sell them and really tell the story behind the product. Uh, so go ahead, guys. Play around with the ad copy. Test a few different variants. I'm going to get get this ad up for the bracelet now. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about your ad imagery. Um, and we'll talk about what way you can get good pictures and how, how I get pictures for my ads. So see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.